Hello Desert Bearhawk fans, we're in a shop this morning and today we're cutting lightning holes and uh, I put up a post last night and someone said uh, they were curious as to how I was going to do it this is how I do it this is how I think everybody does it really unless they have some expensive tooling um, you use a drill press and you use a fly cutter or a circle cutter when I went to buy this at my uh, McFaddenell Hardware and Supply, I asked them for a fly cutter and they gave me this deer in the headlight look. I didn't know what I was talking about, but we finally came to a circle cutter. Um, these things work pretty slick, but they're pretty dangerous. As you can see, uh, center pin here drills a pilot hole and holds everything in position. And then this uh, carbide tip here rotates around like so and uh, just basically scribes the hole and cuts it out and uh, I don't know if everybody's ever seen a fly cutter before or how they work but I thought I'd shoot a quick video and show you guys it's pretty easy my holes are uh, supposed to be three and three quarter inches in diameter so you set this up for half which is an inch and seven eighths and um, just run around through there so a couple things to remember, don't operate your drill press at warp speed, uh, I've got mine going at the, the slowest speed it will turn, that's where you want to be, you don't want this thing whirring around at a thousand miles an hour. Uh, the next thing to be mindful of is this uh, arm rotating around, if you stick your hand in there to try to hold your material down and you get into that, it's not going to be good. This thing will grab onto you and it's going to rip your finger off or snap it in half or cut it in half or whatever. It's going to be bad. So be mindful of this of this arm here. You know, and it's not only this one. I whacked myself on my knuckle right there with this end. I was cutting a real small circle, only about an inch, inch and a half in diameter. So I had this bar slewed all the way over and this piece was sticking way out. Wasn't really used to that. Reached in there, being mindful of this not to get my finger into this and this thing come around and whack me in the knuckle I saw stars and the face of God and made up swear words it wasn't good so just be mindful of this of this apparatus right here because it will it will whack you cut you rip you apart just be careful of it and uh, you can't see it on camera but this piece is clamped down to the press so it can't move so if this fly cutter hangs up it uh, it won't whip around and smack me in the chest or whatever. Another thing I got too is my belts on my on my drill press. I leave the main drive belt not super tight, tight enough to turn everything, but not super tight. This way, if this thing hangs up, the drill press will actually st the, the cutter will stall. The motor will keep turning on the drill press, but the belt will allow everything to slip. This way, it doesn't get all nasty and start ripping things apart. So let's cut a hole. What I did initially is I located the center of the hole with the pilot hole. As you can see, I've got it right there, and I'm just going to drill through. Once I'm through, it'll start scribing. And you just want to go real slow with this. There we go, we start scribing our hole. Nothing to it. See how that drill press hung up and stopped for a second? That's by design. And there we go. Just like that, one perfectly cut three and three quarter inch hole and a nice little uh, replacement pizza cutter wheel for your pizza cutter. That's how you cut holes in your spar for lightning holes using a fly cutter or a circle cutter. Hope you found it interesting and um, until I have something new to post, we'll see you next time in the shop.